Hello everyone, welcome to my channel That Model Railway Guy and here's a little extra bonus video for you this week where I'll be taking a look at the brand new L&MR open third class carriage from Hornby. These were announced back in July to go along with their new Stevenson's Rocket train packs and now they've finally been released and considering that they've sold out in most places they seem to have been really popular. So first we'll take a close up look at the carriage and then later we'll get them down onto the track to see how well they run behind Rocket. So as you can see, these carriages look quite a bit different from the ones that came with Rocket. Although it does look like the chassis is pretty similar and they seem to have the same steps too, as you can see here. The livery is also a bit simpler as well. We don't have lots of intricate lining all over the carriage like the first class coaches, but they are in this lovely blue color, which is definitely something a bit different. That said, the door handles have been picked out in gold and the lower panels also have this nice black lining as well, which is nice and sharp and printed really well. As you can see, we have this both on the sides and the ends of the carriage too. Speaking of the ends, the buffers aren't sprung, which is okay. I don't think anyone was really expecting them to be considering that the first class coaches didn't have sprung buffers either. You'll also notice that these carriages don't have a standard tension lock coupling. Uh, these coaches are very much intended to be run with the rocket train pack. So naturally they share the same type of coupling. On the coach is a little hook. And if you saw my review of the rocket, then you'll know that you get a little molded chain, which slots over the hook and then connects up to the loco or the next carriage. Now they can be a bit fiddly but as I said back then it's probably better than having a tension lock coupling on them as the loco and the carriages are quite small. You'll be pleased to know that the third class carriages do come with a few extra couplings in the detail bag but obviously be aware that if you don't have the rocket pack already then you're not really going to be able to run these carriages with the rest of your stock. Obviously the biggest difference from the first class coaches is that these are open carriages so they have no roof. We do get a nice wood panel effect on the floor inside so that hasn't been left blank although there isn't really anything else in the space. It is split up into three compartments but there aren't any benches or seats as I believe passengers would have stood in these carriages originally. These are just begging to have some passengers added to them so I imagine it won't be long before someone starts offering figures from the appropriate period specifically intended for putting in these carriages. That's assuming that someone hasn't done some already. <laughs> So that's pretty much everything on these models, but now the part you've all been waiting for, how well do they run? Well, once again, I've set up my little test track loop as I didn't think it was worth running these on my small shunting layout. And as you can see, I've got two of them hooked up behind Rocket here with the three first class carriages on the back. Firstly, the main thing to say is that Rocket doesn't seem to be struggling to pull all five coaches here. They are all very light, but considering the tiny size of the loco, I know it's something that people could be worried about. That said, I don't know what the limit would be where Rocket would really start to have problems, but certainly with five carriages on mostly level track, it seems to be fine. Just like the first class carriages, these open thirds are nice and free running, and they run really, really well. I do have to say that they feel a lot less delicate than the first class carriages overall. Maybe that's because being third class carriages they're not as intricate and although that's not to say that they aren't still a very finely detailed model it's just that with the first class coaches I'm always a bit scared of breaking something when I go to pick them up. With these I don't feel that fear as much which is a good thing I suppose. Personally I think Hornby have a real winner here. The rocket packs they released earlier this year have been a huge success and it's great that they decided to follow it up with something like this to give us a bit of variation. The price for these is pretty good too. The RRP is $16.99 with a lot of retailers selling them for around the £15 mark but to be honest I'm surprised Hornby didn't decide to charge more given how popular both these and Rocket seem to have been. I think now more than ever people will be waiting to see if Hornby come out with another loco from the same era to expand this range even further as there definitely seems to be a lot of demand out there. If Hornby can keep making quality products like this well I'm sure a lot of people will continue to be interested in them. And so there we go. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have then please do subscribe, like, leave a comment and don't forget to hit that bell icon too if you want to get notifications about new videos when they're released. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!